What is going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? What I have for you today in this video is show you guys how to replace the hard drive in the Acer Aspire 4730Z. Alright, this laptop originally came with Windows Vista and it upgraded to Windows 7 and all of a sudden this right here was the original hard drive and it got corrupted somehow maybe during Windows updates and then all of a sudden like uh, the laptop uh, just shut off or something uh, I don't know the whole story about it but uh, you know it might have something to do where like it was shut off be before the updates finished and therefore this hard drive right here was corrupted so needed a new hard drive in there because I tried reinstalling Windows 7 uh, onto this current hard drive because it already had Windows 7 before and it did not even finalize it and went back to the first screen of the installation process Plus, sometimes when you're in the BIOS, it'll, since, for example, this is a Toshiba hard drive right here, as you can see the model number and the brand name. Uh, sometimes in the uh, BIOS, it'll say Toshiba, and then and it doesn't say it right there. It just uh, makes it seem like uh, there's nothing installed into that port. So, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to replace this hard drive with a, a different hard drive. Now, the hard drive I'm going to be using is the 320 gigabyte Western Digital. Uh, hard drive. I don't know the exact model number, but you'll see it uh, as I'm installing the hard drive. And what are you going to need? You're going to need your new hard drive, of course, and you're going to need a small Phillips screwdriver. That's it. That's all you need for this installation process. So without further ado, let's get on into the hard drive replacement. All right, guys. So what you're going to do is flip over the laptop and ignore the sticky note right there. That's just covering up the product key, even though I won't use it because that's for Windows Vista. And right where you see these two screws over here that cover is covering up the internal hard drive in the Acer 47 and 30Z alright so you're going to unscrew those they actually don't come out so uh, once you loosen up the screws then you just uh, lift up the cover now I'm using a flathead screwdriver instead of my fingernail because I don't have any fingernails alright just set that aside and what I'm actually showing you guys right now is what it's supposed to have. Normally there will be a pull tab right there where you have to lift it up and then you pull the hard drive out. But, you know, that pull tab, it just decided to rip out. So I had no choice but to uh, pull it out uh, manually without using a tab. But either way, it won't harm your hard drive. All right. And now you're going to unscrew these four screws. These four screws secure the hard drive onto the bracket itself and then it's going to slide out all right and you're going to take a small Phillips screwdriver the same screwdriver you use to unscrew the other screws for the cover and you're just going to take all of those screws out and you're going to put them in a safe place where they won't be lost because these screws are very tiny and they're very easy to lose and you don't keep track of them Alright, so all four screws are out, and then, like I showed you before, we're just going to slide it. And then, that is it. You got your old hard drive out of the bracket, and now time to put on the new one. Okay, so now what you're going to do is, you're going to take your new hard drive, in this case, uh, I already told you, it's a 320 gigabyte Western Digital, and what I'm going to be doing is slide it into the bracket, and make sure that the SATA connection is facing out uh, where there's no uh, there's no uh, wall blocking it or I should say there's no metal blocking the connection as you can see right here so that way it'll slide in into the SATA connection on the laptop itself and then what I'm going to be doing is put these screws back on now you saw in my other clip that I was using as a different Phillips screwdriver and that was not magnetic it's best you use magnetic tools because that way uh, they'll stick onto the screwdriver and then you don't have to fiddle around with putting the screws back on and if you accidentally let it loose then it'll fall out and there's a possible chance of you losing it of course it's common sense already but I just figure I let you know anyway Well, 
whether you're working with any type of electronics, whether it's mobile devices uh, or laptops, tablets, whatever, and anything electronic, it's always best to use uh, magnetic tools. All right, as you can see, I got all four screws on there. And now, what I'm going to do is just slide the hard drive uh, into the connection. Get you got to put it down at a good angle, and then you slide it in then to let it click. And then you just simply put the cover back on, and then you, know, you put those two screws back on, meaning you just tighten them back on, as you can see what I'm doing right here. And then you are all set to go. Okay, now what I'm going to be doing is making sure that the hard drive is recognized. And what by doing this, I'm going to go into the BIOS. So when the first screen pops up, I'm going to go into the BIOS. In this laptop's case, I have to push F2. But normally, they'll give you uh, the menus or the buttons that you press to get into the BIOS. And as you can see, it is recognized, which means we are all set to go. And that is it. That is how you take this hard drive out and then put the new hard drive in there. So that, that is pretty much it. And if you guys are unsure on how to you know, uh, install a Windows operating system on there, uh, then a link will be in the description below when I show you guys how I upgraded the Dell Inspiron 518 uh, to Windows 7 from Windows Vista. But even if you were just uh, installing an operating system on a clean hard drive, the process is exactly the same. Uh, Alright, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah, have a good day now, and take care. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments down below, and I will do my best to answer them.